Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of Python's Ram. We're on the 10th episode, my friends. And can I just say a whopping massive thank you for the amount of support you showed in the last episode in response to whether this series should keep going or not. You guys went absolutely crazy with the like ratings. We hit 3,700 like ratings in just under two days. I mean, what is that, man? What is life? Oh my lord, not even the first episode got that amount of support in such a short amount of time. So honestly guys, that is just incredible. I want to seriously, seriously thank you guys for the amount of support. So yeah, clearly you guys want to see more, so I'm going to do some more. So yeah, in today's episode my friends, we are hoping to go down into the hell realms to get ourselves a bunch of hellstone and thus get ourselves some molten armor because molten armor is going to be our next step in order to get ourselves a bunch of defense and therefore hopefully take down Skeletron at some point very, very shortly. So, I think what we need to do first, though, is we need to actually grab some wood, which, to be honest, I should have done during the intro, so I am already messing up like a true dum-dum. So, yeah. Honestly, guys, I have never, ever seen support like what you guys showed in the previous episode, so, honestly, I, <laughs> I was completely blown away. I still am, because it's just truly, truly insane just, just how epic you guys are. And it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's just amazing. Thank you so, so much. So, yeah, we're just grabbing some wood, and then we'll be heading down into the Hell Realms, or the Underworld, as it's technically called, but the Hell Realm sounds a little bit more fitting for what it is, so that's always good. All right, 172 bits of wood is always good to see. Let's go ahead and magic mirror back to base. Uh, at some point in the series, I would like to make... Hmm. Yeah, I think a elevator is going to be something we need to make at some point in the series because those are the best ways of getting down to hell. Unless, of course, you have yourself a teleporter, in which case that'll be kind of cool. But we're not in hard mode, nor have we defeated any mech bosses yet to have the steampunker spawn in, so yeah. No sign of a teleporter for a little while yet, unfortunately. So I think what we're going to go and do, my friends. Oh, Snapples! That guy just hit me twice and did a whole bunch of damage to me. What the heck is up with that? Oh my lord. Oh, it's a bone throwing skeleton. Get out of here, sonny. You ain't gonna take me down. Nor are you, Mr. Black Slime. Oh man, don't forget my friends, this is expert mode, so people are gonna do a lot more damage to me than if they were in regular mode, so that's always something to bear in mind. Oh yeah. Hey, buddy. Get out of here, man. You ain't taking me down. Are you Mr. Wormy? Yeah. You just got bloomin' critted for 60 damage. What are you going to do about that, son? Nothing. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> All right. So, I'm thinking we go ahead and make a bit of a jump cut and we skip down to where we left off in the previous episode, which is down, down where this original sort of obsidian pit was. And then we'll do some explore together and hopefully come across hell together as well. So, yeah, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, we're back, and as you can see, we are down where we left off the previous episode with the obsidian pit. So we need to go ahead and continue exploring downwards and hopefully find a bunch of lava. One thing I have just realized is the fact that I didn't bring any bombs down with me, which would have been a good idea in order to explore a little bit more quickly. But, you know, I am a dumb dumb, as you guys know, so, you know, me being organized, you got a better chance of finding a polar bear sitting near a lava pool or something. I don't know, man. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're going to continue on, my friends. We have ourselves a mushroom biome coming up on our right-hand side over here, which is kind of nice. Another mushroom biome. Maybe there's some uh, maybe there's some stuffs up here. Maybe a chest or something. A mushroom house. be kind of cool if there was, because mushroom chests look kind of amazing in this game. They really do, actually. They look kind of nice. All right, so uh, let's see how we do here. All right. Boof. There we go, we got in here nice and quick. Okay. Not finding anything of worth though, unfortunately. There is a salamander down there, which I am going to go ahead and defeat. His butt is going down. Hey, Sonny! Hey, Mr. Salamander! What are you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? Mr. Salamander, you're gonna die, man. Hey, come on. Here we go. Oh! No, you ain't taking me down that, Sonny. No way. You realize I've actually managed to get two rallies from those guys in this series so far? I feel like the drop rate for rallies from those guys is actually pretty high, especially in expert mode. So, I don't know. If you have salamanders in your world, it might be more than worth going ahead and taking them all down. Getting yourself a rally is a pretty good uh, early game weapon. So, 
yeah. But anyway, just got ourselves another heart crystal, which is kind of nice. Uh, ooh, ooh, it's Tim. Hey, Tim. How you doing, buddy? What you doing down here, Sonny? Give me that wizard hat. Yeah, look at me, man. All right, so uh, magic damage. What if I put this on instead? 15% that does 7% increase. Wow. Okay, so this does 28 damage currently. If I put this on, it does 29. Wait, really? It only increases it by 1? Well, I might as well keep it on 28 then, and then I can use it infinitely. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to continue. Oh, snapples. That doesn't look... Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, right. Ah! We need to try not to die. The try not to die challenge. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I've got this thing. <laughs> well, unnecessary screaming. Apparently, that's great. Yeah, lava chubs. Keeps you invulnerable to lava for about seven seconds. I do believe it's seven seconds exactly, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, seven seconds. Sweet! Well, whatever the case, we do have ourselves a golden chest on our right inside, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can't grab ourselves something epic out of it. I'm not entirely sure what else there is that we can get that is unique to us at the moment. I don't think there is anything. I feel like we've gotten everything that we could from these chests. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, yeah, flare and stuff. I'm gonna sell the hell out of you because you're just awful. I don't like them, man. Flaggons. Freaking enemy of the pythons. Why you do this? Alright. Well, uh, oh, good lord above. Look at the size of this lava pool, man. That's crazy. Okay. Well, is there any... Oh, I think I might have to go back through this house and then <laughs> head over here. And then maybe we can go ahead and, uh, you know, dig down and hopefully find ourselves some more world to explore. And talking of which, we found ourselves a little pocket cave. Great. All right, we're going to continue digging down. All righty, guys. Got ourselves another chest. Uh, ooh, a keg as well. I'll go ahead and take the keg, because why not? Another magic mirror. Eh, not entirely useful to our cause, but... Eh, well... It's, it's better than nothing. We can sell it at the very least, I guess. You see, that's what I want to do in this series. I want to try and pick up every single bit of loot that I can find because then I can go and sell it and get myself a whole bunch of money. And that's going to be very, very useful to our cause. So, yeah. Oh, check it out. We got ourselves some bombs as well. Why not use them? Three, four. Yeah, there we go. And maybe a little bit more as well. Two, three, four. Boom. Let's grapple up here real quick. Hey, oh, dang, we're coming across a marble bind, which means, uh, yeah, we're going to find some more javelin dudes. Oh, man, I don't like those javelin dudes. They do a lot of da- oh. Oh! Okay, they can actually chuck their stuffs up here. What the heck is up with that? Jeez. All right, here we go. Oh! What the- All right, we're going to have to get- What? How the heck? What? That's crazy. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I'm confused. Wait, 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 I'm confused, I'm confused! Ah! No! No, 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 no! Oh, you damn feral bite, you stupid bat idiot! Right, all right, here we go. No! 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 Oh my god, am I legit? I'm confused again! What is going on, man? I don't want this! What the hell? All right, here we go. We're gonna try and- Oh, uh, we're gonna have to- Oh, we're gonna try and dig around them, because there's legit, like, three of those hoplite guys down there, and I don't particularly want to be dying right now, because it's gonna be a bit of a pain trying to get back down here, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's dig around them, and let's see how we do. Okay, oh my lord, there's five hoplites? If I manage to take all of them down, all of you guys have got to leave a light grating, okay? That is something you gotta do if I take all of these dives down, alright? We're going to give it a go. We're going to try taking down five pop lights and apparently two black slimes. All right, here we go. 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 All right. The slimes are nearly dead. Oh, my God. What even is this? That's one down. That's two down. Come on. Come on. They're almost all dead at this point. And come on. That's five down. Get off my back, Sonny. You can't take me down. I'm the best at this game. Holy crap. No, I'm, I'm really not. Let's be honest. Oh, wow, I'm so happy about that, though, man. We took them all down like true professionals. I love it, man. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's keep going. Aha, here we go, my friends. At long last, we have come across the underworld and apparently a bunch of lava as well. Okay, well, this is a bit uh, awkward. We need to actually get down to hell. That'd be fantastic. Oh, what? You silly bat. You tried to freaking kill me. It's not going to work, is it? Because I got a lava charm. Nah, <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Nothing, because you're gonna die. Oh, snapples. Check it out, guys. We've got a whole bunch of chests. Well, not chests. Vases. 
Oh man, the more vases the better because there's more chance of finding ourselves one of them beautiful coin portals. Coin portals are of course very nice to have. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, a magic power potion. I'm actually going to take that. Nice one. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to head downwards because the way I normally mine out hellstone is I try to mine out the hellstone that is sort of conjoined onto the houses. So for example, you see- oh! This guy literally just TP'd right next to me. So for example, you see these two- these- these few bits of hellstone right here? These are the bits I would typically wind up mining out because these are very, very easy to get. And, you know, you won't get affected by the lava because the house is kind of protecting you. So, yeah, just a little bit of a tip for those of you guys who are mining out hellstone and want to find a- an easy, non-lethal way to mine it. So, yeah. We need to grab ourselves a whole bunch of hellstone. Not entirely sure just how much we are going to need. I'm thinking we need enough to make ourselves... Ooh. Maybe a sword? And also... I don't know, man. I'm thinking we might actually need a pretty decent amount because I would really like to try and make... A hellstone bow. I can't remember what it's called, actually. There's a proper name for it, like uh, uh, something fury bow. I can't remember what it's actually called. My brain is in a complete frenzy at the minute, trying to figure out just how much hellstone I'm actually going to need. And when my when my brain goes into numbers mode, it struggles to think about anything other than numbers. So yeah, but yeah, I want to make a, a, a hellstone greatsword. I want to make a molten pickaxe. I want to make the bow, and also. Oh, also the other thing, maybe a, a flamer ring? Maybe a flamer ring would be pretty cool to get. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, but anyways, I need to go and chuck something away. I might actually use the danger sense potion. Oh, wow! Hey, check it out, guys! When you use a danger sense potion, it actually shows up all of the hellstone ore. So it's almost like a spelunker potion for hellstone. I did not know that. <laughs> Even to this day, I'm still learning new things about Terraria. This is brilliant! <laughs> Fantastic. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a hellstone mining montage. And if we manage to find something cool in the meantime, I will of course bring you guys back. But for now, let's go ahead and get on with mining a bunch of hellstone. Alrighty guys, so this is going to be our last little bit of hellstone to dig up. As you can see, we are approaching 400 bits of hellstone, which I'm pretty sure, according to the calculations in my head, is going to be enough to make all of the things that I want to make. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to this, my friends. There we go. We have 406. Very, very nice. Alright, so now we can head back home. I did, of course, have myself an obsidian skin potion on me, so that is very, very good. So, now, the time has come where, hopefully, we can do a bunch of awesome stuff. Alright, so, let's just head up here and let's see just how many bars we can make ourselves. So, it's three ore per bar and it's one obsidian per bar. So, we should have more than enough to make all of the bars that we need to make. So, there we go. That's one full stack. Oh my lord. So, that's one full stack and 36, which I do believe is going to total up to 135 hellstone bars. God diggity damn. In fact, I think I need to empty out my inventory even more so than I already have. Even though I haven't, it's completely full. It's completely jacked up. I mean, look at it, man. Look at all this stuff we managed to get. All these epic potions, mana regen, mana power, uh, heart reach, titan, spelunky. You know, all of these things are real nice. I like them a lot. All right, we're going to put the heart crystal in there as well. Uh, flare gun. Uh, ooh. Traveling merchant, what do you have for me today, sir? What is your name again? Oh, Riley. Okay, apparently I've got, like, short-term memory loss or something. Alright, so... Ooh. Whoa, 27 gold coins is the amount we got from all of that. I want to buy a magic hat just because it will make me look amazing. There we go. Yeah, buddy! I like me some of that! <laughs> Alright, uh, stopwatch. Do we have that yet? We do not have a stopwatch. Display is how fast the player is moving. In this series, I really would like to get the PDA or whatever it's called, where it basically acts as a mirror as well as like the super informational accessory. That'd be really, really cool to have. And some more pad thai. Uh, what's that? 15 minute? 10 minute? I mean, I'm going to buy some of this just so we can have ourselves some increased stats a little bit more. So, uh, you know, I mean, 
And we've only got two of these bits of food, the, the foe, or pho, however the hell you pronounce it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head down, we're gonna make ourselves some new armor and some new tools and or weapons. In fact, I should probably go ahead and grab myself the things that I actually want to make the weapons out of. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves an enchanted boomerang and, well, actually, I think that's it. Yeah. Now I can make that into a flamerang and then the rest of it I could just make straight out. Okay, so, let's head up to the anvil and let's just see how much we can make. So, molten armor. We should be able to make the whole lot, like, with absolute ease. There we go. And we still have 90 bars left, so we're going from 17 defense on a magic set of armor up to 26 defense on a melee set of armor. So, this now does 34 damage. Right, that's pretty nice. Okay, so, imp staff is something I want to make, just so I have a little bit more damage when it comes to defeating bosses. The molten pickaxe is something I would really like to have, so let's go ahead and get that on and unfavor that. The fiery greatsword is something I'd really like to have, because this will be used to make the knight's edge. The Molten Fury is something else I'd really like to have. And it's a godly one, so 38 range damage. Wow, that's really, really nice. And of course, the thing that we've been wanting to get, the Flamerang. There we go, my friends, there it is. Oh, look at the amount of stuff we got now, friendos. This is amazing. Is this thing fully auto yet? Nope, it's not. It's still, uh, it's still default. Dang it. Well, it does 44 damage. This thing does 34, but this one also shoots out a projectile. So I'm going to actually keep this one because I feel like this will do more damage per second compared to the Fiery Greatsword. I don't know about you guys. I don't know. I'm just trying to do calculations in my head, I guess. So that's great. All right, and the final thing we're going to do today is we are going to go ahead and reforge these little babies or, or you know, yeah, that. We're going to reforge them and see what we get. Okay, so starting off with the Molten Pick, would like to have ourselves a little bit more speed, perhaps, because we all know that the Molten Pick has terrible speed. There we go, light! Fantastic, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so that's already got Godly on it, so I didn't need to do anything with that. I can reforge this. Look, there's some damage on it. Yeah, there we go. Unpleasant is nice. I don't think I'm going to get anything better than that, to be honest. All right, and we'll reforge this. Uh, I'm thinking we can get something better than nasty. Come on. There we go. Masterful. Very, very nice indeed. I'm very much a fan of that. Fantastic. So look at our blooming setup now, my friends. Oh, my lord. So, light molten pick, heavy meteor hammocks, godly enchanted swords, godly space gun, masterful viathorn, godly molten fury, unpleasant flamerang, and the masterful imp staff. We have ourselves a pretty nice smorgasbord of weapons to our arsenal now, which is amazing. And basically what this now means is we should be able to take down Skeletron with, hopefully, with ease. I mean, we've got the movement speed, we've got the weapons, so yeah, next episode, I think, is going to be the episode where we hopefully take down Skeletron and all will be good. At some point, I also would like to expand this base so we can get some more peeps in here. So, yeah. For now, Mo, it is time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, do be sure to leave a like rating. It is the best way of letting me know if you want to see more. And, of course, if you're still enjoying the series. And, of course, you can hit that subscribe button if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your continued support. And I'll see you guys in the next one.